random viewers. So in succession of the series for scalp, already I have discussed about the arterial supply, the venous drainage of, of the scalp in my previous video. And the next succession in this series is the lymphatic drainage of the scalp. And in this video, I'll be discussing about the lymphatic drainage of the head and neck region. So particularly, I'll be focusing on the scalp, but since certain things are associated, these lymph nodes or the lymph nodes, these are also associated with the head and neck region also. So some portion of the head and neck uh, region related lymph nodes I'll be discussing over here as to what are the regions of the face and the scalp, what are draining in what kind of lymph nodes. So beginning with the lymphatic drainage of the scalp. So particularly I have here focused upon the diagram so this diagram clearly illustrates as to what are the exact anatomical locations of the different types of lymph nodes. So in the head and neck region, we are going to find particularly the first is the preauricular lymph nodes. That is preauricular lymph nodes. These are named so just because they are lying anterior to the external ear or the pinna, which is also called as the auricle. Since these nodes are lying just anterior to the auricle, these are known as the preauricular lymph nodes. So now, moving on, the lymph nodes, what are going, and these preauricular lymph nodes, they are lying adjacent to the parotid glands. So that's why they are also called as the parotid nodes. So viewers, this was the first lymph nodes which is going to drain the preauricular lymph nodes. They are going to drain the anterior part of the scalp. So this entire anterior region of the scalp is going to drain into the preauricular lymph nodes. Now moving on to the posterior auricular lymph nodes. Since these lymph nodes are lying posterior to the auricle or the external ear or pinna. So that's why they are also called as, that's why they have given, they have been given the name of the posterior auricular lymph nodes. And since they lie opposite, somewhere here in the head region, we are going to have the mastoid process. So mastoid process is an anatomical uh, location or a site in the skull when we look at the skull since these posterior auricular lymph nodes they are lying adjacent to the mastoid process of the skull so that's why they are also known by the name of the mastoid nodes over here so since they are lying at uh, posterior to the auricle they are posterior auricular and since they are lying uh, adjacent to the mastoid process of the skull that's why they are known as the mastoid nodes now moving on to the third lymph nodes that is the occipital lymph nodes that is the occipital nodes so up till now the, these are the occipital lymph nodes which are going to lie in the occiput region this is this is the occiput region of the skull so this since the location of these nodes lies adjacent to the occipital region or the occiput region of the skull that's why they are known as the occipital nodes so these occipital nodes, they are going to drain the post posterior aspect of the scalp. So viewers, now when looking at the lymphatic drainage of the scalp, we are going to find the particularly the entire scalp can be divided into three segments. That is the anterior scalp, the posterior scalp and the posterior most part of the scalp. All right. So the anterior scalp, it is going to drain the entire anterior scalp drains into the preauricular lymph nodes or the parotid nodes. Next, the posterior auricular, that is the middle and the posterior segment of the scalp is going to drain in the posterior auricular lymph nodes and the mastoid lymph nodes and the posterior most part of the scalp is going to drain into the occipital nodes. So viewers, this was all about the lymphatic drainage of the scalp. Now one thing since certain things are also associated, when talking of the scalp, certain lymph nodes also come into uh, view. That is the certain lymph nodes that, such as the deep cervical lymph nodes are there, the submandibular lymph nodes are there. So I'll be just in short, I'll be discussing about as to what are the drain uh, what are the structures which drain into such nodes now when looking at the preauricular lymph nodes or the parotid nodes the things the areas which are going to drain is the 
that is the middle and the posterior scalp drains into the preauricular or the parotid nodes that is the middle and the posterior scalp they drain into the preauricular lymph nodes next the temple the temple also drains into the preauricular lymph nodes next the ear the posterior part of the orbit the posterior part of the orbit it also drains into the preauricular lymph nodes and the parotid gland itself drains into the parotid lymph nodes now moving on to the submental lymph nodes so the submental lymph nodes the submental region uh, lies here in the uh, chin region so this chin region it is known as the submental area so the submental area the submental lymph nodes they are going to drain the lower lip and the teeth the lower lip and the teeth are going to drain into the submental lymph nodes the anterior part of the chin next is the anterior part of the chin third the anterior tongue and the floor of the mouth is going to drain into the submental lymph nodes now moving on to the submandibular submandibular lymph nodes since these lymph nodes are lying adjacent to the mandible they have been named as the submandibular lymph nodes so what are the regions what are draining into the submandibular lymph nodes include the upper lip all right the upper lip the nose the nose is also going to drain into the submandibular lymph nodes the cheek the cheek area the entire cheek area is going to drain into the submandibular lymph nodes and the anterior nasal cavity it also drains into the submandibular lymph nodes so the middle tongue and the lower molars and premolars they also drain into the submandibular lymph nodes as we have seen that is in the uh, submental lymph nodes the anterior chin the anterior tongue and the floor of the mouth plus the lower lip and the teeth so here the upper lip the nose cheek and the anterior nasal cavity the middle tongue and the lower molars and premolars are going to drain into the submandibular lymph nodes now moving on to the deep cervical lymph nodes so deep cervical lymph nodes they are basically situated in the neck region that is in the cervical region so they have their counterpart also that is the superficial cervical lymph nodes and the deep cervical lymph nodes so while looking at the deep cervical lymph nodes as to what are the regions that are going to drain into the deep cervical lymph nodes include the pharynx the palatine tonsil the hard palate and the soft palate that drains into the deep cervical lymph nodes so viewers this was all about the lymphatic drainage of the scalp and the associated um, the some uh, the remaining lymph nodes what are related in the head and neck region and then the regions what are going to drain into these lymph nodes so viewers this was the pictorial representation about as to how we can very easily look at uh, what are the drainages what are occurring from what are the regions of the head and neck region and wh where are they draining into the lymph nodes so viewers this was my short video about this lymphatic drainage of the scalp and the head and neck region so viewers if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching